AMC Tiny 2020 problem 2. What is the hundredth digit of 20 factorial minus 15 factorial? So immediately when I see this question, I do not see any particular thing to jump out at me. And I do not know a general explicit way to immediately find out the hundredth digit, digit by just looking at this. So let's expand 20 factorial and 15 factorial to see what we get. 20 factorial is simply 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16 times 15. And you get the point. This goes all the way down to 1. So 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And 15 factorial is the same thing. 15, 14, 13, all the way on until 1. And let's first, well, by looking at this multiplication, I do not see anything that can help me deduce the 100th digit. But what can help me find the 100th digit is by finding out how many zeros there are since the final digit. And what do I mean by this? This, what I mean by this is a number like 2300. I want to find the number of zeros because 0 minus 0 or any other number will be very simple to find. And this technique is actually very common within finding out any place digit between the subtraction of any two factorials. So let's continue with this uh, lesson. So this becomes 2 times 10 for 20. And I don't need to prime factorize every single one. I'm just trying to look for possibilities for multiplications that can become multiples of 10 to get me the 0. And I see here that 15 is 5 times 3, so let's put that here. And I see that 10 is right here, so I put a 10 here. And I see a 5, so I multiply by 5. And we can have a 4 here, and we can have a 2 here. And the reason why I'm putting these numbers is because 5 and 4 can combine to be a number that's a multiple of 10. And 5 times 2 will become another multiple of 10. And likewise, the rest multiplies out to become some very nice number. So this becomes 20 times 5 times 4, which is 20, times 10 times 2, which is uh, 20. And then we have a 3 here times the second 5. And we don't really care about what this is. We just care about how many zeros there are. This will multiply to be some number A followed by three zeros because we have three zeros present within the 320s and this will be plenty we do not need to find more zeros because this amount of zeros right here has the hundredth digit that we need so let's go on to the 15 factorial 15 factorial is the same process 15 is 3 times 5 now we have to find some number that can multiply with 3 to get a multiple of 10 or totally ignore it and try to find other multiples to get multiples of 10 to get three zeros at the hundredth digit tens and ones digit so Within, we can just look at this part right here. We have a 10, and we have another 5, and we have a 4, and we have a 2. And we see here that this is 110, and this will be 20, and this will be another 10. So this will be sufficient. Why? This becomes 3 times 20 times 10, and we have to multiply by this 10 right here. And then we see again, we have the three zeros at 6,000. And we don't need to worry about the rest of the multiplications because any number ending with a certain number of zeros multiplied by another number of zero, not another number, multiplied by another number that doesn't have to end in zero will always maintain these zeros at the very end. So therefore, this can become 0, 0, 0 summed quantity, which is 20 factorial, minus 15 factorial, which is some quantity, but ending in three zeros, hence zero minus zero will give zero. So our solution will be answer choice A. And the reason why this, I need to find the tens and units digit because the tens and units digit might determine how the hundredth digit might change. But in this case, they're all zero, so the solution is zero.